The Art of Lucid Dreaming by Claire R. Johnson, PhD. Uh, over 60 powerful practices to help you wake up your wake up in your dreams. Um, so lucid dreaming, you know that it's a dream. Like you can recognize, oh, this situation is not reality. <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, so you get um, after the contents, you get a list of practices, the introduction, part one, chapters one to four. Um, part two, chapters five and six, part three, chapters seven to nine, conclusion, and um, appendix one and two. Um, so there's 65 practices, <laughs> so it, it is over 60. Um, offers techniques for waking up in your dreams, recognizing that you're in dream. Um, and she just made this statement of that it's not a substitute for psychological counseling or medical advice. This could just be an addition to the medical advice or whatever. Um, seven common questions about lucid dreaming, how to create a lucid mindset, uh, the stages of sleep, um, playing with the lucid dream body, uh, stages of lucidity, um, creative lucid trances, um, and so on. Um, some practices are like right after the other, some it are explained longer than others. Um, Yeah, so the practices are one right after the other. It isn't, here's some information and then here's like one or two practices. It's, here's one practice and then here's the next one. Um, so like, can then, um, like seven common questions. Um, can anyone have lucid dreams? Yes, explains. Is these the dreaming a learnable skill? Um, should we control our dreams? And then a few other ones. So like practice one, how to improve your dream recall. So um, remembering dreams is an act of awareness and then also an act of listening. So um, power, practice two, power up your dream journal. Um, Practice 14, the stuck arm technique. Practice 15, use mini awakenings to cement your intent to get lucid. Um, the stages of lucidity, so deeply non-lucid, non-lucid but uh, alert, uh, pre-lucid, and then there's um, a few others. Um, so you do get a bit of information and techniques and things that you could do on your own. Um, like, if you're the type of person who is comfortable in doing this type of thing or learning about this type of thing, it could be um, very helpful or, helpful. or if you're a person who has an interest in learning this um, type of thing without actually doing it. But yeah, um, it's a great resource and jump off point. Um, so yeah, The Art of Lucid Dreaming, happy readings.